Hello everyone, I'm Ezekiel Bruni. I am a writer, general tech nerd, and consultant, and I'm here on behalf of Website Planet today to tell you how to get a free website for your business, which, let's be fair, you want a website. It is actually a pretty important way of improving your pro business prospects. How do you get a free, quick, and easy website for a business? Well, I'll show you. But first, please do consider liking and subscribing if you find this video useful and helpful. Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know how everything went for you if you followed along with this video or <laughs> tried the tips I show you. And if you want to keep up with all of our tips, tricks, guides, and reviews, past, present, and future, click that notification bell icon and maybe check out the archive. All right, let's get into it. Now, for this purpose, for our free websites, we like to use a tool called an app, really called Wix. It's a software as a service website builder, and it's your best option at the moment for a free website that you can customize a lot. We like Wix because it has a huge selection of free templates, uh, five over 500 of them, and it has a huge feature to uh, price ratio. So th there are just, Wix is just packed with features, many of which you can use for free but when you're ready to upgrade, the price is perfectly reasonable for the sheer amount of functionality you can get. Wix allows for a lot of complexity and that can help your site grow as your business grows. For small to medium sized businesses, Wix is a fantastic tool. And after that, <laughs> you might want to hire a developer. But let's show you how to get that free website. Do check the links in the description because there is a review of Wix, a full review with all of the details and basically everything we've tried, every test we've run. But right now, I'm just going to show you the basics of how to get that business site. Just get, uh, click the Get Started button, sign up. Uh, you can use your Google ID or your Facebook ID or just uh, create a regular email and password. And you will either be taken straight to the website creation wizard or you will end up here on this dashboard where you can see some of my past test websites going to hit that button and let's get started. First, Wix is going to ask you whether you want to use Editor X or Wix. Editor X is actually an advanced platform for people who know how to code but don't want to. For everyone else, there's regular Wix. Next, you'll want to put in what kind of website you want to do. So let's say, let's see, do they have pottery? Pottery shop. Yes, there we go. I've just chosen to create a sort of pottery shop or pottery studio type of website. Now there are, again, two choices. You can let Wix ADI make a website based on your answers to a few questions. It's a machine learning based tool. It's actually pretty good, but doing this wouldn't actually show you what it's like to edit and build a website with Wix yourself. So we're going to go the long way, but Wix ADI is great for, you know, like, a, f a five to 10 minute website setup if you want something really fast. There is a literally a ceramic store template. They have a template for everything. So I'm just going to go with that, make my life easy. It takes a second for Wix to generate your website and set up the w website editor, but that's no biggie. We're here and let me show you how, just how easy this is. So, it's, they've already got some photos here and a store, which is great. That's already set up for you. You can actually add store or stores to any website yourself, but I picked a template that already had it up and running. So let's change this image because it's not working for me. I want one of the ones I picked. So we're going to change strip background here. And we're going to upload some images. Now you can get free images from Unsplash, paid images from Shutterstock, and some free images from Wix, but I already downloaded some from Unsplash that I want to use. So let's add some images real quick. And why, while we're at it, let's add a logo I made. All right, now that everything's uploaded, we want to pick an appropriate photo for the background. We want something kind of dark for that light text to go in front of it. This looks fantastic. So let's change the background. And that looks great. I don't even really need to do anything there. But what if you want to change an image in your content? What if you want to change, for example, your logo? Well, let's get rid of that text. And let's add 
an image. Now, you can barely see it there, but so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make that smaller so it fits in the header. Sometimes, especially for headers, you need to make things fit intentionally. And there we go. Now, you might want something... <laughs> Let's actually move this over here. You might want something a little bit less generic, but, the, you know, I just made an example logo to go with all of this. So that's that. You can add content of all kinds. You can add, for example, a services section that tell, uh, tells what services besides the actual shop that you offer. And then you can just change the image for that section. And you'll notice these images tend to get cropped and centered properly all on their own. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to add te te uh, text and images. You can just double click on any text block and start typing. It's all good. It, it may, uh, arranging your content is easy. You can actually move things just about anywhere you want on the page. And you can just use, and if things look uh, weird or like you feel like you did it wrong, you can just hit that, uh, the undo button. Now, that's the basics of how to edit the layout and the content, but what else can you do with your website? Well, let's show you. You can, of course, add or remove pages as you like. Let's Now, there's a dedicated contact section at the bottom, but let's add a new uh, whole kind of page, huh? Let's add a contact page specifically. And there you could put more information and have, for example, a map. So let's add that page. And there you go. These templates come with uh, contact forms pre-installed. People can just leave you messages. It's really easy to set up. Now we have two links up here, the contact page and the contact section. Let's get rid of one of those things. The one with the anchor link here is the one that's just a uh, link to the footer. So let's get rid of that. Admittedly, having a contact, uh, two contact forms on the contact page is a bit redundant, but I'm just showing you how this works. Okay, let's say that this text doesn't really work for you. Maybe this background color doesn't work for you and you want to change these things all over the site to match your branding. That's pretty easy. Go to the site design tab, hit that, click on colors. And let's just adjust this a little maybe. Now that takes care of the background color. But that's, uh, let's see, that's a little too dark, so we're going to, but we're going to make it more colorful. That looks nice. Maybe not perfect, but nice. Next up, let's change the text. We'll go, we can go here, go to text, and we can change the fonts. So let's maybe pick that one. And you can see the t text changes right up. Ooh, Roboto, I do like Roboto. Good old Oswald medium. You've got uh, quite a few options, and of course, you can create custom font themes. And you can change how e what each of the headings and different kinds of paragraph text look like. Now, if you want to change how your store looks, you just have to go into the store settings. So first, we can go to settings here. And you can choose from different collections of pottery. You can have different collections of products, of course. You can choose different product layouts. So that's the product display style. You can change the product grid. Let's knock that down to two columns. And it looks like that. Let's put it up to four. And it looks like that. Let's go back to three. You can choose how to people access the add to cart options. You can change colors and fonts for your store specifically. You can show product filters on the product listings. And there you go, you can filter by collections. And that's all good stuff. But now let's actually manage some products because we all of those are sample products. So let's say you want to use some of your own images and change the titles and so on. That's really easy. Just click on it. And let's change the image. Let's get rid of that, add an image. You can also add video, which is pretty cool. Let's say this one, add to page. Now let's call it cut and plate set. Ugh, why did I say cut? 
I even said it out loud. Okay, you can change your product description, add return and refund policies, shipping information, change the price, of course. Let's call it $95, but it's on sale. Well, I'll give it a 20% discount. And then you can add all kinds of custom text and custom options. The store functionality for Wix is actually super detailed and can help you build pretty decent stores. Now, here's the thing. You can't actually sell anything with this store. You can put it on your site more or less without, um, or at least you can put it in the site editor without paying anything. But if you want to actually take orders, you're going to have to pay for a premium plan. So let's look at an app you can use. And yes, the store is an app. Let's look at an app you can use without paying. So here we are, we're on the about page just for fun. We'll go down to apps here and let's find one we like. We've already got a contact form on every page and then a redundant one on the contact page. But let's say you're having some pottery events. This one comes, the, this events app from Wix itself comes with a free plan available. So we'll just add it to the site. Now you'll notice that overlaps. We want to fix that. So we'll just drag this down because you can drag things just about anywhere. And let's manage the events. Managing the, your events is a lot like managing your products. It opens up in this second separate um, user interface. Let's get out of that. Let's add a new event. Where is this event taking place? We'll just say Mexico City. And let's create the event. And it's saved to drafts. We can add all the teaser text we want, but we're just going to throw in an image real fast. Save and publish. So we've got the basics of a website and let's just pretend I went and plugged in all the content for it. So, so we're going to hit publish just to see what it looks like live. Now it's, ooh, it has something called, it's called, it's at my site. That's, uh, that's not something we want. So we're just going to go quickly go over to the site dashboard. We're going to click this and rename the site. Let's call it <laughs> the pottery, the pottery nut barn. And this is something you need to know. You cannot use your own custom domain on the free plan. On the free plan, your Wix website will be at your username dot wixsite.com slash the name of the website. It's not ideal, but hey, they do want you to upgrade it sometime. So let's hit that link. And there we go. I say it looks rather good. I need to change those colors eventually, but there's our edited product. Let's hit that contact page and see what that looks like. Let's go to the about page and see the events we added. Whoop, there's a upcoming event. And that is how simple it is. It really is that easy. Let's take a look at some of the other apps you can add real quick, because I want you to have an idea of what you can do. You can add a points and reward systems um, and there's affiliate marketing systems, all kinds of marketing tools. You can add forums and live chat. You can add blogs, pick up, re take restaurant orders that that requires payment that you should know. Some of these apps are free. Some have free plans and some need to be just paid in general. And some require a premium plan on Wix. There's a couple of different pricing models you need to be aware of. But other one, oh, you can add social media feeds. You can do all kinds of things with Wix and the possibilities, well, they're not technically endless, but they are vast. And for your first website, it's a fantastic option. I have a little wannabe Superman curl that will just not stay up anyway. <laughs> That's about it. There are a couple of tips I think you should know about. Uh, if you want to get your website created as quickly as possible, you need to have a plan for how you want your website to work. Before you ever touch Wix or any other site builder or any other website tool, have a plan for what you want your users to do, where you want them to click, what you want them to click on, whether you want to, them to sign up for a newsletter or buy a product, all of that stuff. It will all figure into your design. Next, you'll want to have all of your content, that is all of your text and all of your images ready beforehand. Technically, with all of that in place, you could get a website up and running in as little as five to 10 minutes, 
Although for beginners, it's much more likely to take about one to two hours to get used to Wix and make your first website. Again, do check the links in the description for the full review of Wix with all of the features we've tried and tested and all of the tests we ran. There's a lot to learn there. This was just some of the basics. And also check down below for a link to our coupon page. There we have coupons that give you hefty deals on your first year of Wix and many other website builders. So if, when you think it's time to upgrade, check the coupon page first. You could get started even cheaper than, than you usually would. Again, if you found this video useful and helpful, please do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, leave us your feedback. Let us know if this video helped you and how. All right, I had fun making this video. I hope you had fun watching it. This is Ezekiel Bruni signing out. See you all around.